हेलो फ्रेंड्स सो टुडे आई विल बी शोइंग ऑल माय टेस्ला कॉइल्स व्हिच आई हैव मेड विल आल्सो बी शेयरिंग द ब्रीफिंग ऑफ द कॉइल्स दिस इज अ 12 वोल्ट टेस्ला कॉइल व्हिच इज वेरी टाइनी एट पावरफुल दिस इज द इंडक्टिव कॉइल व्हिच इज ऑपरेटेड एट 12 वोल्ट सेल it is made using a single transistor bc547 and resistor 1k ohm and a copper coil which has 25 plus 25 turns this inductive coil is an upgraded version of a normal inductive coil it has two transistor bc547 and two resistor 1k ohm it can absorb more amperes as compared to the normal inductive coil this coil has 50 plus 50 copper turns This is the Tesla by filler coil. It has around 30 turns and the wire is also thick. Here you can see two transistor T1P41C and two resistor 1k ohm each. So that it can take more load than the normal coil. This coil can be operated from 3 volt to 15 volt DC. This is the center wire which will be connected with the positive terminal. This is also a bifiller coil. However it is different from the previous one this coil has single transistor BC547 and single resistor 1k ohm the voltage operated is 5 volt dc here the copper coil used is thin This is the smaller Tesla coil I have made which is about 2 inches long. This coil can be operated from 5 volt to 9 volt DC. The transistor used for the coil is 2N triple 2A and the resistor of 1k ohm. The primary coil has 700 turns and the secondary coil has 3 turns. and this is the emp jammer it is operated with 12 volt dc and the diameter of the copper coil is 1 and a half inches the transistor used in this coil is t1p41c and single resistor of 10 kilo ohm it emits powerful electromagnetic field this can wipe out nearby communications The primary coil has 30 turns and the secondary coil has 60 turns. This is the input for power supply. I have fixed the circuit in the transparent plastic.
this coil is the last yet the biggest one which can be operated from minimum 3 volt to maximum 12 volt the primary coil has 1000 turns and the secondary coil has 5 turns make sure not to leave any gap between the turns in the primary coil i have fixed the circuit on a pcb board it has single transistor T1P41C with heat sink and one resistor of 10 kilo ohm. This is high voltage capacitor which used for maintain oscillation. This coil produces high voltage electromagnetic field. So this is my entire collection of Tesla coil. I will now share the briefing by testing each coil. The LED is connected with 50 small turns of copper. Now we will keep the LED under the inductive coil. Let's see if it glows. You can see the LED is glowing. I will now change the LED poles. By changing the poles, we can see the LED glowing, yet not as brighter as earlier. We will now test the two bifiller coil out of which one is thin and the other one is thick wire. Both the batteries give an output of 4 volt and we will test which coil helps in charging of a mobile phone. Here are three copper coils of different shapes connected with single LED and we'll test if they glow. And let us now start with testing the thin bifiller coil. This bifiller coil induces high electromagnetic field which helps in glowing the LEDs.
here you can see all the copper coils are glowing which are connected with LED and let us now test if it helps us charge the mobile phone and we can see the phone is getting charged Now we will test the coil and the mobile phone using a thick bifiller coil which has two transistors. Now we are using 5 volt DC supply. Here you can see all the LEDs are glowing. Now we will see if it can charge the mobile phone. It's not charging the phone due to low output of the coil. Now we will check this coil with 12 volt DC supply if it can charge the mobile phone. Now we are giving it 12 volt DC supply. Here you can see the coil is producing pretty good amount of electromagnetic field. You can see a blinking green LED near to the bifiller coil. It is because the coil is producing high electromagnetic field.
you guys can see all leds are glowing brighter Now I will test my mobile phone with 12 volt DC supply. Here you can see the mobile phone is charging due to the high energy coming out of bifiller coil. With 12 volt DC supply, this bifiller coil can produce good amount of energy. This is our another Tesla coil which works also as a jammer. This coil also produces high electromagnetic field. It can jam nearby radio signals. Let's now test this coil with 12 volt DC supply. This is a fuse CFL bulb, it still has gas inside it. Here you can see the coil is producing high electromagnetic field and that magnetic field is exciting the electrons of the gas. Here you can see the gap between the coil and the LED coil. It's almost 4 to 5 inches and the LED is still glowing. Here you can see as the coil is getting closer, the LED is getting brighter.
here you can see a little plasma when it touches the ground. And this is our another Tesla coil which is about 3 inches in vertical. This coil also works at 12 volt DC supply. Here you can see this tiny coil also generates great amount of electromagnetic field. Here you can see the plasma coming from the top of the coil, you can see the small spark. This is our another Tesla coil. The primary coil has around 200 turns and secondary coil has 3 turns. Let's test this coil with 5 volt. Here you guys can see the output of the coil. The amount of energy coming out of the coil is pretty good. Here you can see all the LEDs are glowing from a certain distance.
कैन सी दिस इज आर अनदर कॉयल विच हैज टू ट्रांजिस्टर दिस कॉयल हैज फिफ्टी प्लस फिफ्टी टर्नस वी हैव टू ट्रांजिस्टर इन दिस सर्किट सो दैट दिस सर्किट कैन टॉलरेट मोर करंट एंड वोल्टेज Now we are testing this coil with 4 volt DC supply. This is our single transistor coil with 12 volt cell. Let's see if it can light up all the LEDs. Here you can see the LED coil produces great amount of energy when it matches with its parallel coil in diameter and in turns. Hello guys this is our another tesla coil which operates at 12 volt dc this coil also produce high voltage as you can see the cfl bulb is glowing the primary coil has around 900 to 1000 turns and the secondary coil has 5 turns Here you guys can see the plasma. Please don't forget to like, share and subscribe.